Hey guys, welcome back to Factorio. I am Cifa Cat, and uh, look, we did Chrome last time. Thank goodness that's done. So what we need to do today is uh, just really enjoy the fruits of our labor. But we can't do that because we've got more work to do. So what we're going to do instead is we're going to make steel uh, or aluminium. I've gone in a direction to make aluminium, uh, steel, but... Steel is probably pretty good. Aluminium is actually required. But then if we make steel, we can make my uh, cool robots faster. And I do like cool robots. Maybe that's where we're going to go. Always go to cool robots, right? Right. So what, we, what we're going to do is actually have them all come down and meet up might actually be better if we go the other direction there's actually room for steel up there Oops. Uh, okay. Since there's actually room for steel up there, maybe that's where we should build steel. That does make a little bit more sense, I think. Uh, and we also want them to... I see the mistake I've made here. Okay, we're going to carry a little bit more iron and get some perhaps we want. End of all of this, that's all right. Because all these iron ingots are going to be used to make steel. A lot of iron ingots, actually. Should be all of them? No, one more. Great. No, there's still one more. Gosh. Who designed this trash? Alright, it was me. Yeah, they weren't good. All right, so with all these iron ingots, we're going to make a lot of steel. And we're probably going to need to steal more of the uh, oxygen, but that's okay. We've got huge amounts of oxygen, so that shouldn't be a problem. Uh, we do, we are running out of land though, so that could be problematic. But now, hopefully, this will suffice. We'll also be making a lot more stone now, but that's alright, that'll slow down. And at some point, I, of course, want to expand my concrete brick production. Uh, and we will get onto that at some point as well. Alright, so we've got more sand, that's good. A train could be scary, but it was not. A train is chill. That's a chill train. It's always important to note the trains that are super chill and cool. Alright. So... Blast furnaces are always good. Especially here. And we're going to go, let's go high for now and see how that goes. And we're going to need to steal oxygen, which shouldn't be too much of a problem. We should be able to have plenty of oxygen coming by. Uh, we just need to actually just gather it. 
start like that and like that, and we're gonna copy a couple of those. Great, then we need oxygen, which we can probably steal from... <laughs> steal, it's a little bit of a metallurgy joke there. Um, anyway, take that from the copper line. Now, I don't know if we're actually going to have an, if that's going to cause a problem. Hopefully not. I guess we'll find out, won't we? I really wish uh, this thought about it, how it works, a little bit better. Like, considering how amazing it is that uh, power poles work, it's just annoying the underground ones don't quite work as cleanly. Uh, and actually, we do want that going one more further out. Because we're going to also need to put in uh, charcoal. Which shouldn't be too difficult because we can put it through uh, that way. Does these do need some sort of fueling? Yep. Easy. Drop. Great. And then these. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the steel once I've made it, but there's a few things I can do with it. One is which actually just makes steel. Which, that is a fan favorite, I like to think. What do you do with the steel? Just, you made it. Good job. What more do you need? Uh, we could have a steel ingot train. That's another option. A steel ingot train would actually do pretty well as well. Um, the final option is to... Because what we really need to do is get the Invar up right now, just because I want my spider robots. Probably didn't need two of those. Probably didn't even need to go that far. Okay, so sure enough, that's using up a lot of iron. We kind of expected that. What we should have also expected is that that bit. Okay. So this will probably make all of them just fire non-stop, hopefully. By firing non-stop, I actually mean a little bit faster than what it's doing. We could, if we were feeling a bit spicy, uh, put these on blue conveyor belts. I don't think that's necessarily point uh so the options we have here are to either have a steel ingot train which steel ingots are not bad the steel ingots are used for what molten steel molten steel molten steel molten steel inva cobalt steel okay so in other words not as much as i thought they were going to be used for we do still need it to go to the Invar. We don't really need it for much else. We don't even need that much Invar really either. Well, so what we could do is the steel that's being made here, if we just turned all that steel into just producing uh, uh, it's actually doing all right for itself. How's the invar being even produced? We're still making iron here, and that's probably a mistake. We probably want all of that to go into steel. Okay. What I am going to do is build some inductors. Not that we need it right now, but we will prepare for the steel uh, outbreaks. And we'll just make some molten steel. Now we could do it with manganese ore, and maybe we'll do that later because we've got to use the manganese somehow. But for now, this will do. 
just basic steel. We don't need to do anything too special right now because the important part is that we just have it. Okay, so that gets my steel, uh, liquid steel online. Not that we need it right now, but as I said, it's just good to have. Right, now that didn't take as long as I thought it would take. But the important thing is it's now being a thing. That's going to quickly drain that, so I'm just going to let that drain and then... I'm going to go over to where that invar is being created, which is... Uh, down here -ish, I suppose? Holy crap, that train's going the full speed of 367 kilometers per hour. Train turning at those speeds is kind of terrifying. But it's okay. Now, I don't want to make that stuff anymore. I just want it all to go into steel. And I wonder if we increase the blast furnace levels of this, whether we can also assist it in some degree. Do we even have blast threes? I don't think we have blast threes on us anymore. We're all out of blasts. Okay. Uh, copper is doing its best, but its best is just simply not good enough. Wait, why is it not good enough? Oh, because we've tried to do this with copper. We just really wanted to focus on the brass side of things, which we're not needing as much. That's not... The zinc. Yeah, we don't need as much zinc as we thought we did. Okay, so... Maybe do want to have a little bit of induction, I guess. Get a little bit of induction going. It is sad. Don't be sad, buddy. Okay, so everything's sort of slowed down because the copper was just not being used, so that should speed things up a little bit. Fair enough, iron's coming through more. Okay, so hopefully that'll help. Okay, so next thing we need to do, for realsies, we've got to get uh, iron done. Not iron, aluminium. Uh, we don't need more filtration units for that. I don't need a leaching... Uh, actually, we... I think we still kind of do for this. The aluminium is a pretty simple one. All it really needs is flotation cells, alienation plants, probably, if we can find them... Uh, We can find them saline, better saline water production, but I don't know if we can necessarily find that. Um, how is the steel manufacturing going? This train, train doesn't really have anywhere to drop right now, so that means steel is probably okay. Which is, I mean, it's not bad. Like, I'm certainly not complaining, but really want excuse to just need more stuff. Uh, that shouldn't take too long. Okay, so crystallizers, we don't have many filtration units. I don't actually think we need any of those. In fact, crystallizers, we're not making many because we didn't ask for many. Ask and you shall receive, and here they come. Okay. Should be good enough for now. And we're going to need to get more sand, which 
think we'll be able to get that by going to different places in the base than we normally go to. Uh, well, we used to go here all the time for sand, so... This used to be sand central. And technically it probably still is if you think about it. The sand's not going anywhere. Like, yeah, 8,000 units of sand. I expected more, honestly. Okay, a new science has been completed. Fantastic. Uh, what do we need for launching those rockets? We need radar sites. Is the last thing we need? I think it is. Damn. That's impressive. At the very least, I'm impressed. Uh, okay. More sand, please. That's still going fine. Honestly, I'm not too worried about this. More we'll backup power generation at worst anyway. I was going to say at best. At worst, it's backup. At best, I don't need it. I mean, it's producing some power, so I guess I shouldn't be shitting on it. That's slowly making plastics. A train was coming by at a real speed. That's alright. It didn't mean any harm. It didn't cause any harm either, which is nice. Uh, okay, apparently there was some leaching plants here for the silver that I just never used. I honestly don't need a lot of silver, so... Probably a waste of everyone's time doing that, but that's okay. Uh, so. Oh! Oh my goodness, worms! Legitimately surprised by that. Uh, alright, we'll train. We've gotta come here and just wait, like, 300 seconds. Now we need a repair pack, because the worms broke things. We don't have any repair packs, we just gotta wait for the, the Venga bus to come by. Don't worry, the Venga bus is coming. Uh, oh, what happened to Tungsten? Oh, that filled up, huh? Cool. Well, it's good to know that Tungsten stopped for a while. We can fix that now. Okay, there's the Venga bus. Uh, my last follower is an imposter? Oh, Lord Platypus, yes, absolutely. Wow, that broke you out of your, uh... Broke you out of your meme, huh? I mean, he's a Lord Platypus, he's not THE Lord Platypus. He's like, Lord Protector of the Realm. He's not Protector of every realm, just one realm. I think that's how it works. Okay, so that train is getting real work done, which is very pleasing. Uh, now, how much room do I really need for this? Excluding, of course. Yeah, okay, I do need more room. Identity theft is serious business, Nuke, I agree. Um... But you can't just I own the identity of a platypus. Like, there are other platypuses. I'm really sorry to tell you this, Nuke. Uh, someone recently followed me called Lord Platypus, and Nuke's not happy about it. Well, he's, he's pretty upset about it. Uh, that's alright. I mean, it's not. Sorry, it's, it's not okay, uh, Nuke. He stole your identity. He stole the thing that made you a unique snowflake. And honestly, I think everyone is just outraged right now. Like everyone. Except Dave. No, not Dave. Steve. Steve doesn't care, but Steve only cares for himself. Steve is a lot like that. Okay, I think there's probably going to be enough space for some degree of aluminium to be constructed. 
Now, real quick, how this can do 22, that can do 360. So 360, I'm wanting eight machines aside. Okay, so that's five. Oh, that actually comes out to eight machines. Cool. I'm going to have to, of course, change the type of pipes, but that's not a big deal. Five plus three, typically known as eight. Okay, and how many different types of elements does it need? Just two? Wait. Easy. All right, so that's going to be one amount of aluminium. And we want, let's just go two of these for now. I think two seems like a good number. Uh, there's no way we've got enough crystallizers for all of this right now, but that's okay. And that is actually just doing nothing. Okay. That pipe is still doing nothing. So that is most of what I need. For. I think the finger bus is pretty happy right now. Nope. Finger bus, I got other work for you to do. It seems like there's stuff over there. Uh, I guess we start researching the rocket. I mean, why not, right? I mean, we're not ready to build it, of course, but might as well start researching it. Now, that's going to output... Oh, we probably need to worry about the ore crushes at this point. Okay. That will be fine. Or we could... What is happening over there, Panda? What are you watching over there? I'm just saying, ba 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 ba. Uh, that's exactly what it is. Okay, it's just a man going ba 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 ba. Okay, does he think he's a... what? I'm not judging him. I'm judging him because he thinks he's a sheep. And as New Zealander, I know he's not a sheep. I can tell the difference between sheep and not sheep. There are two things in this world: sheep and not sheep. And he. He ain't no sheep. The racial trait. The ability to recognize sheep. Okay, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the stone at this point. Um, I could just turn it to sand. Or... I could do something else with it. Because I don't think I want to keep turning everything to sand. I think at some point that's going to be a problem. So, sand is now going to be a new trick. There is a train that is currently out of fuel. Which train is it? It's the pink science train. Interesting. That's actually going to jam stuff up. But right now, I don't care. Okay, and then what we want to do is something along the lines of this. And that goes like that. That goes like that. So that way everything sort of connects sort of nicely. He says absolutely breaking the connections he hadn't planned. And if I do this here, that connects that, which is pretty good. And then we do a similar thing, except in reverse. Hey, but at least I made the same mistake three times. That's good. That gets rid of the stone. Good. Uh, I probably do need to go deal with that train because everything's jamming up down there. Oh well. Um, while I go there, I can always pick up some more stuff. So the problem is pink train ran out of fuel. Do I have any fuel on me? No, but this train does. <laughs> Steal from another train. Steal from the train, give to the train.
It's mostly a clear line until it gets to this wiggly bit. Wiggle. Okay. Man, that came real close to that other train. <laughs> like, it, it, it wanted to hurt it. I'm not sure I'm okay with that either. Because it didn't really fix the problem either. It just added a little bit of fuel, and at some point it'll jam again. But that can be fixed another time. The whole point was just to at least let it continue. The rock silos are six percent being built. Which is pretty exciting, despite the fact I do not have half the resources I need to actually do it, but whatever. Now, what we're doing with this train we're gonna do a new train system over here. And this is actually gonna be a train system we're gonna do more than one of. The idea of this train is because this is going to be the train that just picks up this crushed stone and it will deliver it to our crushed stony masters. Now for now of course it's not going to be doing a lot but it doesn't need to do it right now. And stack insert is on the other side. Because that's important, and crush stone. Uh, you know what? We'll call it crush stone pick. We will still call it that. And when we get around to it, we'll uh, actually put in some things to make it only pick up stuff that's required. Because this train can hold see how much I don't know some 200 40 times 200 that is a number that is very easily determined if I just think about it just for a moment that's 8,000 units okay good glad that I mathed that out in my head certainly didn't use a calculator for it okay so if we do it with if this has 8,000 or more, it'll pick up. So it should be off at the moment. Good. Because the whole point is we want that to only turn on when things are going crazy. So that's 360, which is good. Then that's going to be putting out 360 per minute as well. Now, flotation cells, or as I prefer to call them, of course, flotation cells, uh, we're going to need... Five. So let's go six, because just in case something makes things a bit faster, always good to have more than you need. Okay, so that will put those out there. And we want to, of course, pick from there, drop to there. the same on the other side and of course we want to actually have some room to be able to do that there's some pipes are going to be required um at this point i realize we don't actually have the room for that so we are going to build six lengthwise which is fine because i have no other alternatives that's okay don't like that's not even I like it being even I'm not so sure I like uh, everything wanting the uh, speed modules though I think we can stop that madness so that's there okay great cool now, of course, we're going to need a lot more flotation cells for what we've got at the moment. But that's all right. We'll get there. Now, we are going to have some slight problems with 
uh, wastewaters. So it's going to be making nitric wastewater and fluoric wastewater. Okay. So it just clarifies at the end of each line. Hopefully that's enough, but if it's not, we will leave an, a bit of extra space just in case. And then we need to really start worrying about how we're going to get all this purified water and ore things. But this is this will be giving me a lot more aluminium when we're done. So that's okay. That's you know what we're in for today. We of course do need more of these. So this can handle speeds a bit wrong. 280 that's putting out 84 ish I've just realized that's with the speed modules included uh, 280 look two of those should be enough actually so we're gonna leave enough room for one more just in case we need it and we're gonna leave room for another crystallizer because we're going to need that and then from there we can put all sorting facilities. Uh, and they can go in the middle. Do we go two or three? We'll go two. Uh, that can go there, I suppose. Great. Now, of course, we still need to worry about how the heck we're going to get enough purified water into that. But that's that's the next step, I suppose. We also need to wonder how we're going to get the crystal slurry. Probably not a problem. We'll just steal it from above. And we've got gaseous puffer eggs. Don't particularly need those. Although, whenever I think about the gaseous puffers, I go, how's my sulfur? Uh, it's just a wonderful sound, as always. Sulfuric acid, little light. Could possibly think about increasing that soon, but we're not worried about it just yet. So that will get my uh, that'll get my chunks out. Remember, kids, it's always good to get your chunks out. Never leave your chunks in, that's all I'm saying. Your chunks are in. Just just check with someone, make sure that's okay, because it's probably not. Okay, and that's going to go that way. This is going to go a very similar way. Yep. We could probably even, actually... No, I think that's fine. The other ones can go the other way. And then these probably need to go through a... Yeah, and then like that. But at that point, we have our aluminium. So. These need to go in. And that needs to go out. Pick up and drop can be done like that. That's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Now this is a little different because this is in in like that. Yeah, that's good. Um now we need aluminium ore. It's just gonna make the ore, which is great. Don't particularly need the extra those right now and we can probably just copy that and just plonk that there and that's that's pretty good now we need to figure out how to get the crystal slurry not hugely a problem i can't help but notice we never actually can get anything to power but that's okay and we're gonna need a lot more flotation cells again 
I mean, I was going to say that's okay, but it's actually quite a big problem. But that's alright. Because I have literally no other options. It's not okay. What am I going to do about it, you know? Okay. That's good. I mean, aside from the fact that it doesn't actually connect to anything yet, but it will be good. Okay. Uh, now, water is the next problem, of course. As is uh, mineral sludge, which, I mean, that one we can just steal from. Actually, mineral sludge is kind of low there. That's not great. Is mineral sludge just low overall? Is that the problem we've got? Oh, we might be low on mineral sludge. Why? Ah, uh, we were just addressing that. Sulfur is getting a bit light. And we're like, okay, well, what's the harm in that? Well, the harm in that is we've run out of sulfur. Not because we're not producing enough sulfur, we're just not converting enough of it into sulfuric acid. So, the good news is we carry around chemistry sets, chemistry lab, plants, whatever. Uh, and I believe that acid gas is probably near maxed. So, the problem isn't lack of sulfur, it's lack of chemical plants turning the sulfur dioxide gas into something more usable. Now, part of me wonders if I actually get rid of this facility, because while this facility used to be how I gathered a lot of resources, I don't gather as much this way anymore. I really don't care if that goes down a little bit further. Um, so that is an option. Because we could just chuck some acid plants down there and it would do the job just fine uh split this come up around here yeah i think that's the plan i'll try not to pick up fish along the way but you know sometimes accidents happen all right so we're gonna split Probably here. That was real cool. Um, what was that doing? Oh, that was for the acid gas, wasn't it? We still do that, we just want to move it a little bit further down. Feel like that may be a mistake. Whatever, it's my sand now and you can't have it. Okay, so we're just gonna move the sulfur up here. This will be a sulfur plant another day. This of course will need oxygen as well, but hey, good news, we got tons of oxygen. Like, the good thing is, when we come over here, there is just a lot of oxygen that I can take. Because there is uh, this electrolyzer plant that I'm just totally disassembling right now. Not that one, obviously. This one isn't really going to help me that much. Disassembling old, less useful things always makes me a bit sad. Doesn't mean I'm not going to do it, of course. Like... You know, it's the path of progress, and this is uh, impeding my progress. There's a bunch of stuff there that we've picked up that we really don't want anymore. Like these electrolyzers. Okay, so, I don't know if we've got enough chemi uh, chemical plants for what I'm trying to do right now, but we'll give it a go. So, sulfur, 
Uric. Uh, dioxide, sulfur dioxide gas. That's right, we need to move those all one step further out. And probably some pipes as well. We're going to run out of pipes. This is me making aluminium, by the way, if you're wondering what this is. This is what aluminium construction looks like. Quite frankly, though, it's like when you've got part of the base, it's just not going to run. You need to fix it then and there. Or you start having problems. So, and I don't, I don't want long-term problems in my base. Thank you very much. In fact, I think that's an oxygen pipe that I was using for other stuff. So, hello, oxygen pipe. You're coming with me. Oh. I think we probably better not destroy every part of my base right now. Let's just destroy one piece at a time, you know? And we will connect that into Irish. Great. So that's going to make the sulfur dioxide gas. Now, if I remember rightly, making this requires purified water. It does. Okay. Good. So I guess we need to make some purified water now, don't we? That might be too much purified water. Let's just go down a notch. And we're going to need a clarifier because we don't really want the saline water in this part. Why do I not just make a thing that does this? Because I seem to be creating very similar patterns a lot. Okay. Purified water, done. Then we want... Not quite those. Thanks for trying. Uh, we want the sulfuric acid. Just the acid. Great. Uh, can we flip that? We can flip that. So that's going to come out from there, okay. So with that logic, we want this to be the two. Ah, uh, these need to be slightly separated, don't they? Yes, they do. The old two-in-one situation, isn't it? Uh, we want to do that multiple times. That should make us plenty of sulfur once we have it powered up. Which we'll do now. By hooking it to power. Okay, so the sulfur dioxide gas is going in there. Uh, no, that's actually fine. So it's made the acid. Good. We wanted the acid. And then we want the acid to probably come back into here. That'll probably help out a great deal. I certainly hope so. Because... I, I, I changed my plans of what I was working on for this. And I hope the factory appreciates it. The factory is not sentient and does not care. I mean, that's just truth. The factory cares not for the inane, the inane problems of the engineer. Alright. This is going to cause a problem later when I expand the electrolyzers. But that's okay. Alright, that should... If 
created stuff? No. Where's my purified water? Oh, well, I guess it, to make purified water, you need to have water to begin with, don't you? It's a complicated trick, but I'm sure you'll keep up. <laughs> Derp. Okay, there we go. They're making acid now. It is. Uh, and I want to do the similar thing on the other side. Where it's run into problems where... Okay. There we go. And we want to get water as well. Which we can do. And we'll just connect it back up to there as well. The oxygen's being a little bit of a pain, uh, but we can always expand that by just connecting it to more electrolyzers, uh, which we'll do now. And then we can go back to making my aluminium. Okay, so oxygen, yeah. The oxygen line's a little bit weak. that connected to anything? No? Maybe it should be. Uh, okay, what we're going to do is we're just going to go like that. Great. Doesn't actually help much, so I don't know why I did that, but... Okay, so that pushes more oxygen into the system. It does seem a little happier, although, wait, what? No, it could still use more oxygen, okay. Well, we can always take oxygen directly from here. There we go, more oxygen. Uh, and... I would probably like to put a pump in here, just so it doesn't go back the other way. And so it just really feeds in that oxygen into here. Uh, I believe it's working better now. I mean, sulfuric acid is higher. The a acid is using up these. Yeah, okay, and filters are probably... Mineral sludge is high. Slag slurry is low, but that's okay. Cool! That fixes that problem for now. We'll find new problems later that urgently need fixing. Um... Honestly, some of these things are just kind of a bit rubbish designs now, and probably could be destroyed. Some of them were just created to... I mean, look at that, not enough sulfuric... Uh, sulfur dioxide gas, I mean... Bam, more please. We ran out of chemical plants. Okay, well... More later. <laughs> or another day. Uh, Gassy's puffers, still doing well. We've got 4,800 eggs in there. They're not breeding constantly, but they are breeding right now because it's a little bit low. That's okay, it's the way that the system's supposed to work. Only breed when it gets too low, so we don't get an absolute overflow of puffers. Now. Now that I've done all this work, this should be a little bit higher. Yep, that's right, it's still next to nothing. So... Maybe we need another train that delivers sludge. Because quite frankly, this is just a bit pathetic. We'll still connect it. I like everything being in one big connection. But that's not going to feed anything. Not until I actually... Uh, Oh wait, that did have power poles, it's just not connected. Derp. Maybe I should connect it then. Ok. 
Okay, a few things are connected now. Okay, so it is making stuff, it is getting through it. That's good. That's where we sort of want to be. It's not going to make near the amount of aluminium we want, but that's fine on the basis that I panicked and just said it has to be fine because I don't know what else it's going to be. Um, but look, it's making stuff. It's making more crushed stone. Crushed stone's great. We love it. Love crushed stone. Uh, that is still making uh, chrome. I don't know how much chrome it's making because we can't see it, but it is making it. So that's nice. That's nice to know. Uh, <laughs> we are almost out of pipes. That's possibly bad. Uh, on the basis that we need pipes. Okay, and we'll just put these down. And of course, we're going to need a lot more uh, purified water as well. I think we've got some Hydro Plant 2s that we just don't need, so we can put those away. I think the base actually wants those too, so that's even better. It's always good to give the base something that it actually lacks. But I think the reason we haven't got more Hydro Plant 3s is because we didn't have enough Hydro Plant 2s. Because they wanted, like, concrete bricks. <laughs> And that's pretty much a near constant problem for me these days, because I just never have enough of them. Yep. Okay, and clarifiers, because... Clarifiers is an interesting problem here, actually, because we may actually want the... Uh, sulfuric, no, the saline water. Like, because we're going to need saline water for the sodium hydroxide. So, and we're all out of pipes, which is really cool. I'm so happy we're out of pipes. Like, I hate pipes. I hate having them. Having pipes is just, it's just a real drain on society, you know? You just get, ah, pipes, gross. And then you just don't... Anyway. Let's go to the mall. Like, let's totally go to the mall and, like, get some pipes and stuff. Because that would be, like, totally cool. Like, yeah, let's get some pipes. Gotta go to the mall. Like, I hope there's, like, some cute drones there. And this character, the Valley Girl, is uh, totally robosexual. Which is fine. I ain't judging. A little judging. Um, I also got a bunch of stuff I really don't need. So the drones will take that. Didn't actually use up all the drones. Maybe it did for a moment. Okay, I got lots of pipes again. That's pretty cool. I'm actually pretty impressed that I gathered a bunch of pipes. And it's making more. Which is nice. Uh, flotation cells, I feel like we just don't have enough of still, because quite frankly, I don't think we ever will have enough. No, we will one day, obviously. <laughs> it's not the situation where we will like, never have enough. Um, but, I mean, how many did we have? We got zero. Zero is a very small number and not even close to the number I need. Um, maybe now is the time that I start making my concrete pipe pipes on site. Or we've got to start doing something with that steel as the other option. Not great.
really do need more concrete pipe. Uh, concrete. Wait, hang on. Hold up. Oh yeah, I stopped a bunch of them. I forgot I did that. That was me. I don't even know why I did this. Look, for whatever reason I did that, I don't need that many. <laughs> Tell Cersei it was me who stopped the selection of pipes. Okay, well, you know what? I want some... I want some stuff. And I've got the things I need for it. I don't think that's what I was supposed to do, but it's what I've done anyway. Uh, so... A couple of salient, salientation plants. That's going to be good. And I'm just going to hold on to these stone bricks because I feel like I, I want them. I wonder how long I jammed everything up for. That was an interesting mistake I've made, as usual. But that's probably going to start making flotation cells, and certainly has actually. We've got one already. Well, actually, if we know we need flotation cells, why don't we just go yoink? Take them for myself, and then I can load them in there myself. I know I need them. Might as well just push them along. All right. See, and that's going to make my flotation cells. We need those. We need lots of those. I mean, we've run out of... Actually, no, we haven't run out of anything. It's just still making them. <laughs> Don't know how I made that mistake, but that's all right. We got three flotation cells already. It's not going to be enough for now, but it'll do. Uh, I think it's time to take the Venga bus somewhere. All right, so. Actually, could we have used some valves? We've got top up valves. Overflow valves may have been a better idea. Uh, we've got one top up valve. Some overflow valves probably would have been good. Um, I don't think I've got a train for those. So I think I'm just going to have to live with what I got. Okay, and. Right. and that'll connect everything up or at least it, it would do pretty well connecting everything up except for the fact that these aren't actually connected very well what we need to do is just something like that just to get everything connected right now of course I think slag is still a little bit of a problem and we may need a slag train or a sludge train just a train, like, that does the thing I needed to do. Call the train whatever you want. I just need a good train. So I've contacted my artist who did my uh, Be Back Soon cat, and I've asked her about making some icons, uh, if anyone's interested in those. So those will hopefully be coming soon. I don't have a time frame yet, because I haven't even really discussed with what I wanted, but we're, we're looking into it. If people are interested in something like that, we, we'll, we'll get there, we'll get there. If people want to support the channel and subscriptions, it gives you something to actually, gives you a reason to do it. You know, it gives you something rather than just being like, hey, thanks, you get nothing in return. 
Get the worst OnlyFans account. All right, so that's doing well. We've got purified water coming through. Saline water is maxing out. That's cool. We forgot about the geodes again. I hate geodes. It's so annoying. That's all right. We'll get geodes sorted soon. Uh, and then after that, we we should have aluminium, theory. And then aluminium gets turned into what? That's why I need my powder mixes. My powder mixes are the ones that need the stuff. Did I get more chemistry, chemical plants? I hope so. I did. Wonderful. So, chemical plants to turn the saline water into crap. Also, good stuff. Uh, chlorine. It's electrolyzers. I keep forgetting. I always do this. Well. Yep. Okay. Because it's got to turn into sodium hydroxide, which I believe is a type of salt. If it's not, I don't really care that much. I'm going to say it is. And uh, that's the life we're going to live. We're going to live that lie. Okay, and that's going to go like that, like that, like that, except it won't because that's not how anything works. And we need flare stacks. One there and one there. So, uh, chloride can be there and hydrogen is actually going to be higher up. That's going to be the usual trick. It's a good trick and I'll always use it. And then we just burn that shit down to the ground. Cool. So, then we have our... Our stuff. Now, I don't know if there's going to be enough stuff. And we also don't have the stuff for the powder mixes. So, we probably should have got that while we were there. Once we've got the powder mixes, then we blast furnace it, and then we're done. And then we're going to figure out what else we need to do to increase red chips. <laughs> Speaking of red chips, how's my uh, black science going along? 247. Okay, that's good. That's good. Because now I believe we should be able to make our walking vehicle. Or at least the tech for it. I think we're still lacking a couple of things to actually complete that. So, do we need anything else after powder mixes? Blast furnace, inductions, double blast furnace, yikes! I didn't know it was double. We don't carry on blast furnaces right now? We're not. Okay, well, we're gonna need, say, 20 of them. Uh, crystallizers, I don't think we need that many. Okay, so... Let's take the Venga bus down again. That's not the Venga bus, sorry, that's just a regular bus. You can tell the difference between the Venga bus and the regular bus is because the Venga bus has an artillery cannon mounted to it. That's a very important distinction to the Venga bus. Uh, okay, so... We're coming this way because we need a powder mixes. Would it be just faster to... Actually, is clay something we still lack? Or are we good with clay now? Looks like we might be good with clay now. Okay, so we can probably make powder mixes in the uh, grey goo. 
I don't know if we need many of them, but let's just make them. Or powderizer. No, we've fallen for that trick before. Powder mixes. We go to twos. I think. I think. Oh, do, sorry. Do we go to threes? I think twos will suffice. Okay, Grey Goo, make it, make it happen, please. Uh, mixes. And we don't need 30. Honestly, five will probably be enough. And this, we probably, again, don't need too many. Maybe 30 is probably too many as well. Okay, so that should hopefully... Yeah, stone pyre... Stone bricks are sort of a problem for those. I think I carry around some stone bricks. No, I don't anymore. I used to. I must have used them up. Hello. Looks like a train recently came through and that's uh, doing its thing. You know what? No, we don't... Land is not the problem right now. The problem is... Absolute shortage of bricks. So let's not use the crushed stone for anything other than bricks. But that's what we kept needing. Uh, how are we going for powder mixes? Got two? Maybe even three soon. That would be exciting. Uh, steel is apparently something we have a shortage of. Really? Wow, okay. Um, well, I've got some good news for you on that one. We've got, actually, a lot of steel. We just need to bring it down here. Is there a better way to bring steel down here? Oh, we could just put it in here. So let's go get that... Uh, Big steel pipe that we made. Eventually. Yeah, let's go get the steel pipe now because there's no reason not to do it now while we're still waiting for powder mixes to be made. Got a bit of a distance to go, but that's all right. That'll just, it's encouraging because it gives me a reason to go down here. And also it'll need to make more stone to do this. And more stone is great. Okay, so. So a molten steel pipe encased in plastic. It's 13, uh, 1300 degrees in there. So, you know, I'm not going to question how it doesn't just freaking melt on its own, but it doesn't. So not complaining. Like this is some pretty durable plastic in this game. Hey Kiwi Hawk. Uh, today I am expanding aluminium and working on trying to get my sciences a bit faster. I'm finally researching the rocket silo, which is exciting. Uh, and I made chrome yesterday, mostly. You know what, actually, I'm so close to chrome. Let's get that radar up there. I've made chrome, but I'm not actually turning it into ingots yet. I don't need to just yet. But that's what we, we are at today. Things are all a go. I uh, probably didn't need 50. Going around. Okay. But yeah, we've got chrome happening, and that's very exciting. Because uh, that took me like a full two hours. <laughs> uh, we got almost 3,000 units of chrome. Nice. Uh, I think the problem we've got here is we're just not making enough. Nope, I haven't got. I haven't even got the chrome handled. The side products—they're just—they're—they're they're even less handled than chrome is. Uh, but iron can be siphoned into the iron mines not too far away. Manganese, something similar, I suppose. Nickel. I actually have no dedicated producer of nickel, so that's probably going to be siphoned into that. And at that point, I. Th I think that's everything. You don't really need that much nickel, but the nickel you need, you do need it. Ooh, 
At least that's what I remember. Oh, really? You're gonna just do that to me, huh? Okay, and then let's just go down. You can make all the output into just iron? Can you? Turn nickel into iron? Hmm, didn't know that. Okay, so, no, not cobalt steel, just regular steel, please. Right. And that should hopefully make that a little bit less of a nightmare. The grey goo requires more steel. It hungers for the steel. Steel is probably, well, after I've built my large iron mine, I don't need steel quite as much as I used to. Uh, I'm just making steel out of just plain iron right now, but it's doing fine. I could always siphon the manganese into that. Um, it's not a terrible idea to do that. Okay, how am we going for my powder mixes? Uh, we've got six of them. That's still not quite enough. What is it lacking? Powder mixer ones? Stone bricks. Okay, well, stone bricks is a constant problem. But that's okay, it'll be fixed one day. Uh, I was about to take the coal train, but that's not the train we take. We always take the Venga bus. Because I like the Venga bus. Alright, Venga bus, off you go. Uh, and then we need to have all powderizers, and then we... Wait, why is that stopped? Uh, it doesn't need more purified water right now. Uh, flotation cells have hopefully built more of those. Eight of them? That's more than zero. But... Not a lot more than zero. Uh, and we really do probably need to get a sludge train on here at some point soon. Oh yeah, I never actually fixed that problem with the geodes. That's yeah, something I should look at now. Yeah. Or we could... No, let's fix the problem with the geodes now. Otherwise we're going to have more problems later. At the very least, let's just get them out of the system. Uh, and yellow makes what color geodes? Yellow makes purple geodes. Or perps, as they're appropriately called. No one calls them that. Right. Uh, we will have that problem with the geodes that gotten so far, but that's all right. Chuck those there, and the geodes we can just slide them in there when no one's looking right now that was good except for the fact we didn't actually fix the problem here thankfully they're pretty identical so we can just go copy paste and then just put them in a different way Right, now I don't know how much I care about these geodes. I may just uh, dissolve them the same way I did with the last ones. We'll see. Powder mixes. Here we go. This is going to... We'd be better making a process first, actually, wouldn't we? Didn't think about that. Or processes... No, it's not really what... I've got all processes. Not what I wanted to check at all. It was um, aluminium. I don't think it makes it any harder to make. Aluminium to process is pretty simple. Then you got to do a bunch of stuff with it. But if I remember rightly, making aluminium pellets. 
then you got to start playing with stuff, and I don't want to do that. I'm too lazy for that shit. So I do need all processes, which I think I don't have any of those. Shit. Also, this is not making much uh, in the way of um, ores. The ores are not coming through because they're being consumed by everything else. Do I really have enough filters? I thought I did, but now I'm not so sure. Flag slurry is high. It's like... These are... Flag slurry is maxed out. What's happening here? Why are you not? Absolutely full of slag. Or is it that you're kind of full of slag, but you just need some pumps to really just push you over the edge? I feel like you need some pumps, buddy. Are these even running very effectively? Or are they? Yeah. Yep. Constantly running. Go for that one. That one's output's full. Full of what? Uh, probably filters. There's not enough water coming through. Well, still, the problem isn't there that... It's a different problem, though. Uh, so look, let's just get this all processes. We can't bitch and moan about it forever. Let's just do it. In fact, we can just go by there, sit there for like 20 seconds. It'll give us the all processes, and then it'll just take us back. You know? Simple, in and out, no trouble. It's like the classic Rick and Morty. In and out, no problem. Uh, look, that's probably the real problem. One pipe is the issue. I got way more sludge than that. So probably more pipes of sludge is required. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. We didn't actually... Quick adventure in and out does mean that we do need to get the stuff. Okay, look, can you just give us the stuff? Like, let's not just joke around about it, guys. Let's actually just give me the stuff I need. Okay, this is not a joke time. I'm not in the mood for funny business. Just give me my stuff. <laughs> my wife just shouted no from the bedroom. Um, I'm, I guess I'm not getting stuff today. Uh, now, at some point, I do want to build that tank. The walking vehicle, rather. Uh, I do need to make some rudimentary uh, nicotol, but overall, I should be able to make it. So, all processes. Uh, how much does this going to output? Up to a thousand eighty. Oh, gonna need a few of these, huh? I don't think I have enough of those. Maybe. Oh, it's actually exact. Wow. Go me. Before I do that, let's uh, also do that. Full time to save game. Uh, and then if we go like that, and just like that, we'll make those, which is neat. Okay, we've run out of land again. That's going to be a problem. Now, I don't think we need to worry about that any further. So now what we need is blast furnaces. You're also going to need ways to power the blast furnaces. That's something I hadn't actually considered. 
Uh, I do know where I'm going to get the charcoal from, so that's not too big a problem. I thought we requested more blast furnaces. Did we not? We didn't. Okay, well, fantastic. So we do not have enough blast... We probably won't have enough blast furnaces for what we're wanting right now. So. Goes to... Powder mixes is next, isn't it? Derp. And that's going to be making it that way. And there is no way in heck that's going to be enough. 720. Oh wait, that's way more than I needed. Well, that's fine. I just realized that's like double the size I needed. Which is fine, I guess. <laughs> Uh, so, not going to be needing, going to be needing half of that, essentially. So, eight, suffice. Uh, we have run out of powder mixes, which is not really a surprise, I suppose. Uh, let's just copy and paste. Please get it ready. We probably need to go find some sand now. That's an annoying problem, but where we are at. Sand. 9,000 sand. We found some sand. Found a little bit more than I expected as well. Great. 9,000 sand is a good number of sand. Hmm. Just thinking about what you just said about 1,000 is the throughput. How much is this output? 1,000 per second. Okay, well, it's not doing 1,000 per second. It's kind of not even doing close to that. So we're probably okay there. Uh, don't want to be over 9,000. Goodness, no, you never want to go over 9,000. If you go at over 9,000, you break your scouter. I mean, <laughs> you know how much those things cost? I don't, but I don't want to break it. How else will I know the power level of, like, Earth's fighters? You know? What if they hide their power levels? How will I find them? I just can't handle over 9,000. 9,000, please, no more. I, I'm very, uh, I have a very fragile ego, and if they're hiding their power levels, they're just fucking, uh, I, I don't know what to do. <laughs> I was talking a lot about Dragon Ball Z today at work for some reason. My co-worker's like, Dragon Ball Z is my favorite, and I'm like, hell yeah. And then I was talking about it with them, and they're like, I don't remember anything what you're talking about. I'm like, well... Uh, okay. <laughs> I thought you said it was your favorite. And they're like, it is. But apparently I was a little bit more knowledgeable. Which I was like, well, now I am now I feel stupid. I was talking about when Gohan dressed as the great Saiyan man. And it made me laugh. Because it was stupid. Um, and if no, if you're just looking at me going, I don't know what you're talking about, that's okay. My co-worker was the exact same way. Like, I don't know. <laughs> Look, I'm just being a nerd, really. That was the problem. She wasn't ready for that. <laughs> Even I'm not ready for that. Ah, Gundam. Yes, that's something I can mostly talk about, except for the series I haven't seen. What are we talking about today? And you're going to be like, this one, I'm like, I haven't seen it. <laughs> I predict that's exactly where we're going to end up on this. Where I always end up. It needs carbon. Shoot! Well, that charcoal's going to be an annoying thing for a while. Let's just put that out there. I haven't watched the movies. 
Uh, don't worry, neither have I. Look, I I love Gundam, I really do, but it's like, when it really comes down to it, I've just seen like, a few of the series. Um, Wing will always be my favorite, even though it's it's got its problems, but I love it regardless. Uh, shit, I don't have boilers. Double O, Unicorn Seed. Seed is very, very good as well. I love Seed. Um, Seed Destiny was pushing it, but I still watched it anyway. And it, was, it was still fun for what it was. Uh, okay, so we've got a bit of a problem there. We don't have the carbon because we thought we needed charcoal. And no, it's got to be carbon. Only the finest carbon for my factory, I suppose. Double O, I, I enjoyed what I saw of it, but I only saw, like, the first half of it. Because I was watching it when it came out, and... You know, when they come out, they do the first 25 episodes or so, and then they go, okay, we're going on break for, like, a few months, and then we'll do the rest of it. And I just never got back into it. Which is a shame, because I was really enjoying it. Uh, okay, so that will give me my carbon. Um, yeah, I was watching Zeta Gundam once, and I was enjoying that. It was like, it's like the second series of Gundam or something. And honestly, even though I hadn't seen the original series, I'd heard that seeing the original series were kind of similar, and I'm watching Zeta, and I'm just like, oh, I know this plot line from Gundam Sea Destiny. <laughs> Like, yeah, I know this plot line exactly. It's like, oh, okay. It's it's not far at all, is it? <laughs> um so I need to go pick up some electric boilers, which is just stone bricks. Oh, stone bricks. One day I'll have too many of those, I know it, but um but Yeah. I've actually got a Wing Zero Gundam that I've meaning to build. I all I've done is build its legs. Um and then I never got around to finishing it. The villain is always masked. I, I do enjoy that. But then they remove the mask, but then sometimes they're still the villain anyway. But they always start off masked. And then sometimes they try to redeem the villain. And I've gone too far down. Are they expensive? No, no, I bought cheap ones. I just buy, like, the... Look, I don't know what currency you're in. Uh, I buy them, they're, like... $40 New Zealand, so they're not much. But I like them. Um, gosh, I know, you're upset. Calm down. Calm the farm, please. Uh, okay, the farm is not calm. The farm will never calm again. But they're just the cheapos. Uh, but I don't really need to buy expensive figures. I just like buying the cheap ones and I'm just looking at them going, yeah, I love those. I know some people like to buy the really expensive figurines. I'm just like, nah, I c like, yeah, I could afford them, but I don't see the reason spending quite that much money on them. I'm not saying people are crazy for spending that much money on them. Absolutely not. Like, buy what you want. But, you know, Funko Pops is like the big example. Like, there was a Funko Pop of uh, Saitama from One Punch Man that I was looking at. My friend's like, no, 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 you got to buy this one. It's this really detailed model. And I'm like, how much does that set you back? He's like, a few hundred. I'm like, no, no. I see the Funko of Saitama, and I go, ha, ah, Saitama's great. And then I'm happy. That's all I need. Um, I've completely forgotten what I was doing. Crushed stone. No, not crushed stone. Oh, wow. Look, it's the train. I need to build some electric boilers. Maybe two. Um, but I don't care that Funko is a, a cheap and kind of tacky looking. I love them. And really when it comes down to it, if you're happy with your collection of stuff, then who cares, you know? <laughs> Let me have my crappy shit. <laughs> I love it. Uh Um... Yeah, it's it's just a th thing on my shelf that reminds me of a property I like, 
it doesn't need to be like the massive three hundred dollar ones or a friend was like, You like this property? Here, look at the statue. It was like a Chandra, I think, from Magic, who I absolutely adore. And I was like, Oh, cool, Chandra. I looked at the price, I'm like, that is like a thousand dollars. I would never that is not worth a thousand dollars to me. And it's fine if it is to some people. Like I'd never again, I said this just before, but I'd never say to someone if they would, hey, look at my thousand dollar Chandra statue, I'm like, you should have spent that money on something better. Like, you know, don't harsh on people like that, but some people do. But I'm just like, yeah, cool, man. I hope you like it. Because, you know, they, they spend their money on it. They bought it because they thought it was valuable. It was that valuable to them. Yeah, I'm, I'm just, I'm cheap. <laughs> If I'm he's like, could I spend that sort of money or something? Absolutely. Would my wife be happy? Absolutely not. Wow, I sound super whipped right then. Eh, whatever. <laughs> Doesn't bother me. Um, nah, I was like that anyway. I was always like that. Maybe not always. I feel the same with collector editions for games. Like, I would rather just buy games that weren't collector's editions because same game i'm buying it for the game not for the charge skis okay that should be wait i was just taking it and it's not actually Probably should power them as well. What do you reckon? There's just power poles chucked everywhere and call it a day. Ah, that, that's how you do it. Just chuck the power poles everywhere. Like, you don't need any semblance of order. That is the wrong thing. Uh, no, no, that's the right thing. I just don't have those yet because... The economy's in shambles. That's alright. That'll be the next thing. They come out. Wonderful. How about wonderful? Yes, they do. They're wonderful boys. Then we go down again. This time, while we're still joined by our carbony friends. Carbony friends? Carbony friends? We're going to need to blow up that uh, cliff in a moment. Right in my way. I think I've got cliff explosives. I do! Wonderful. <laughs> yeah, I, I mean, I have I think everyone's bought collector editions before, and it's totally fine to buy them, but... I'm always like, why are you doing collect editions for a game that this is the first game of its series? Uh, if you don't give me something special with the collect edition, I'm probably not buying it these days. And if you do give me something special for it, I mean, cool, I guess. Neat. <laughs> I don't need to be a completionist for a game, though. Like, eh. Okay, I, that is bullshit, actually. I said I don't need to be completionist for a game. If I looked at my board game collection, I'd be like, oh, yeah, and I bought all of Arkham Horror and all of Eldritch Horror. Why did I do that? Because I had to be a completionist. And all of Talisman. <laughs> I love Talisman. Such a bad game. <laughs> uh, the most rage-inducing game that I love so very much. If you haven't played Talisman, oh, you're missing out on some bullshit. I'd love to get people playing Talisman on a stream one day. That would be interesting. No, it wouldn't be. Talisman's a very boring game. Why would I say that would be interesting? Actually, I think I've streamed Talisman before. It wasn't super great, because it's Talisman. And as much as I love it, it is a bullshit game. It is the... Mario Kart of... Oh dear. Well, uh, that's a train line that's never going to be used again that way. Oh well. Whoops. 
It is a Mario Kart of just bullshit, like rubber banding. And I regret nothing. So in, in conclusion, I'm absolutely a completionist, except for when I decide I don't want to be. Nice. Got him. <laughs> okay, I'm going to uh, ask a question here to chat, because just in case someone knows. Is there a way to change recipes based on, like, a logic condition without a mod? I don't know if there is a way to do that, but if there is, I would love to know it. Like, for instance, if there's manganese, then change to a more manganese-friendly uh, build. Something like that. Um, because I always wonder, like, when you run out of uh, manganese when you're doing something and it just stops because you've got no manganese, we got plenty of the base material, I really just want to continue, you know, working. Oops, that was not a power pole. Okay, so if we go like this... That should connect everything up. Oh, I've been given... Oh, that's a candy wrapper. I'm sorry. <laughs> what do you think? Was a spider or something? I keep spiders in the cat bowl. My wife came to give me almonds and possibly... Just almonds. Okay, I thought there might be cranberries in there. Not complaining. Love almonds. I don't want a cranberries though. Okay. So that is aluminium. Or at least it would be if I had more um, stuff. Which I don't. I don't have more stuff. So we need to work out the stuff distribution very soon. All right. Aluminium's going better than it's ever. Why does this keep happening to me? Every time I like spend a lot of time fixing something, I come back and it's like absolutely fine. Like I spend time fixing you. Why? Why are you like this? Why are you okay now? Like this is the third or fourth time this game's done this to me. And it's hilarious every time it does to me, because every time I'm just like, ah, just wasted so much time. Why? Okay, so no aluminium needs to go that way. So how is Red Circuit's production going? Seems like the real problem is this just doesn't make enough aluminium fast enough. There's a mod for that, okay. Mm. I don't really want to get too heavy into mods. Hello. What's that? Ooh, another fruit burst. Thank you. I have a fruit burst. Okay, uh... No recipe sent through a circuit network filter inserters can be set. Okay. Mm, not quite what I was wanting, but maybe I could find a use for that. Okay, so it seems like the problem is not the aluminium. Or rather, it is the aluminium, but not in the way I expected it to be. So I probably need to do like a strand, fill, uh, strand caster. Or more casting machines. Why do we need to build a rocket silo when we actually get there? Some stuff, most of it not too complicated. The advanced processing unit is probably going to be the hardest part. Oh yeah, I want to get out here. So this is made out of a whole bunch of different types of pipes. Uh, strain casting. Now I know we've got a couple of those. Uh, 
I don't even know what that's connected to. Solder? Is solder a problem? Oh, it shouldn't be a problem. And yet it is because of tin. And also the lack of minerals. Okay. The solder is a problem, is the conclusion we're drawing from that. Now, the next question is, when I make aluminium sheet coils, how many does that feed? Uh... If I home plate, will that bring up what I look for? Yes. Okay. So, how much will that feed? Oh. Really? One of these would feed what? Two of these would feed one? What if I put... modules in it? It's still two to one. Interesting. I didn't know it was quite like that. Okay. Man, I didn't really understand these at all then, it seems. Oh, that train was real close. Oh, that was a close train. <laughs> Got scared there. Uh, and I guess we power it. And then I guess we gotta eject these uh, platy boys. Oh wait, it doesn't really matter how that's done. It's just it just matters that they go out. Yeah, it's, it's making more aluminium. I don't know if it's making more than I had before, though. I feel like it's making actually the same amount. Just more efficiently. What I could do, though, is here we is where we get tricky. Possibly even go stack inserter like that, then stack inserter like that. A boom. It does look like it helped mostly, except for the parts where it didn't. Nope, still looks like it's not enough. Alright. New plan. When in doubt, just build more stuff. Because quite frankly, unless I'm building maximum uh, red circuits, I'm not happy. And I want to be happy. Everyone wants to be happy, and I want to be happy. And you can't deny my happiness, game. The game's like, geez, man, I wasn't really trying to manage your expectations in life. And I'm like, nah, it's not a problem. Not my problem anymore, game. Uh, okay, so... Do, 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 do. Yeah. And then we actually need to get aluminium in here as well, which is... Not as hard to do as I thought it would be. We still haven't actually fixed the mineral problem, but that'll come later.
And then we just power the sucker. Which is mostly powered now. We just need to actually connect it. There it goes. Okay, they're eating. They're outputting. Okay, and that's a lot of aluminium coming now. That's like half a belt. Not that much at all. Half a belt is good though. Now we could make it faster by taking out the reds. <coughs> I think that might be an idea very soon. The next question is, how does everything else go? So when aluminium is absolutely maxing out, we still have white uh, transport mo belts here. That's ridiculous. Okay, so we don't need to have the productivity modules here anymore. Because we should have enough stuff. Uh, although, we may need to upgrade the speed of this. At least as much as we can. Even that's still not quite getting there. And sure enough, other things are beginning to fall behind. I mean, that's good. That means, like, one more... If some things are falling behind, it just means that we can build more stuff. That can probably be upgraded. Although the problem with this one, it doesn't seem to be that... Uh, it was the wrong... It's too slow. I did, and in some degree, I still... Oh, around here? I did, but I don't think it really mattered too much. Is that how fast those are? Wow, it is. Um, now, this one is probably going to be a similar problem. Although we can speed these up as well. Um... Yeah, we may need to do the faster splitters, which I think we weren't doing before because they took red circuits. Yeah. Because these aren't all running. Because we need those to come through faster. Okay. So, probably what we're going to do next time... We've still got another five minutes on the clock, so we can keep working on it. Um, and this probably helped some things. Or I could spend the next few minutes getting my spider robot. Now one could say, you don't need to build a sp spider robot, see, you just don't need to do this. The other part of me goes, well, I did research it for a reason, right? Oh wait, I don't have quite the materials for that yet. Darn. Okay, we don't need a spider robot now. Uh, so what we do need then is probably... Let's just take those. Uh, and let's make the blue splitters. So, actually, no, that's not how we do that. Uh, okay, things are not happy. Fine. Keep crying. I don't care. I'm a bad factory dad. I get it. Alright. Uh, that should... Hopefully... I chuck some of those in there. Okay. I get it. Stop whining, please. Oops. No, no, no. I wanted those. I have a scary feeling I'm about to get a bunch of stuff just thrown in my infantry, whether I want it or not.
Wait, oh. Is it a hundred of those? Ah, uh, maybe, actually. Okay. Six of those will do for now. So now it's just about optimizing what we've got, but we ultimately will need to build much more red circuits. Uh, wow, this just stopped, huh? What the hell died? So, uh, hang on. Uh, just a second, guys. My wife just came by to tell me that Krispy Kreme's doing a promotion tomorrow, but there'll be a huge line, so I'm not sure I'm going to get any free donuts. Uh, okay, it looks like things got jammed up because we started running out of solder, which we did identify that problem not too long ago. So that's cool. Always good to identify a problem just before it happens. Um, oh well. So, solder, wow, and some of these are still on the slow boards as well. Okay, well, let's upgrade a lot of that stuff. Look, if anything can be upgraded to red, just do it. A few, apparently a few things need to be upgraded. It also upgraded the power poles to level twos, but that's okay. Uh, solder is a problem. Solder is also slowing down the production of green chips, which is not great. Oh dear. Okay. So, a couple of options here. One is to, because the mineral sludge is fairly high. What we could do is bring in a train that's job is just to go and pick up sludge and then drop it off like over here. Um, like we've already got one of those trains and that does a fairly good job at distributing the sludge. So maybe we need to do another one. I might actually do a double header train, two tanks. I don't usually do double header trains. Uh, but today might be the time for it. Actually. Okay, let's think about trains for a second. Nice. <laughs> oh, Inva, no. Screw, screw Inva, I hate it so much. Wait, what? Hang on, that... I should be making artillery shells. Why did that stop? I wonder. Anyway, it'll keep making artillery shells again now. Uh, so... That, and we want... Some amount of train carriages. How many? Five? Five's probably too many, but whatever. Okay, and we want trains. Trains are lovely. We already had trains, did we? We already had seven trains. Okay, well now we've got more trains. Uh, and we need to apparently build storage tanks. Oh, geez, so greedy. Uh, and honestly, this is going to be a rare case where I probably just want one... I don't even like these storage tanks, they're too small. Oh my god, the storage tanks also need small inline storage tanks. Uh, okay. I assume I have no more inline storage tanks. Okay, I guess we're building another thing that I didn't particularly want. 
swear to God, if that was like, hey, you want something else with that? I'd be like, just, just get out of my life. I've already thought too much about you, buddy. Okay. That'll make my storage tanks. I don't really want too many of these. I just want a train stop. Maybe two. Two train stops. I don't want a train stop. I can. Okay. And I want... Let's go three fluid wagons. Let's just go freaking hog wild. Okay, so... Let's take the Venga bus out for a ride. Because uh, the Venga bus, we're going to park it. I don't know where we're going to park the Venga bus this time. Because I want to steal from here. And honestly, I think this isn't being used anymore. I think it was. So maybe that's a good place for the Venga bus to pick up uh, some mineral sludge. Or we could... A part of the base is very difficult for the Venga bus to get it. Oh, not even the Venga bus. The Venga bus doesn't carry sludge. The Venga bus is cooler than that. All right, so we could put a train stop here and pull the mineral sludge out. That's not the worst idea. We also will need a tank, which probably should have thought about that before we left. Because we need stone bri bricks. Well, that's fine. So we're going to do a little bit of a trick this time. We're going to go the first double train. Wow. Hopefully this does something interesting. I'm putting it all on the train if it isn't interesting. Like, if it's not interesting, the train's the one to blame, not me. Okay, so if I power this... Oh, yeah! Fills up pretty nicely, actually. Uh, we need more purified water. Is the lack of purified water the problem, or is the placement? It looks like it might be the placement. So if we do this... That's needing more water, is it? Okay. These are hopefully doing a little bit better. It does look like it. Super spiky, but that's alright. Uh, so that's going to be Mineral Sludge Pick 2. Now see, I already predicted this was going to happen. So I'm pretty happy about that. Uh, so Mineral Sludge Pick 2. It needs a fuel source of some type. Uh, uh, I'm going to steal it from up there. I'll probably never pull this part down. We'll see though. Probably going to happen one day, I suppose. No parts of the base last forever. And... Probably need to power that, or it's never going to fill the train with sweet, sweet charcoal. Come on, my charcoal -y friends. Okay, and actually, I could just... So, anyway. Add until cargo full. Then the idea is this train's going to go around to... Gosh. 
Yeah. Here looks like an all right place. Because that's where we're actually having a bit of a shortage right now. While the mineral sludge will get around even without the train, the train's going to just split it a little bit nicer, hopefully. Okay. Uh, we do currently have no signals, so we probably need to build some of those. It's strange, usually we have lots of signals. And we're out of pumps, I just remembered. So, I guess we're going to go get some of those too. That's just engines and copper pipes. Okay. Both of those are pretty easy to obtain. Ooh! Train! Uh, engines and copper pipes. So, copper pipes right here. Oh my gosh. The tree is full. Okay, and engines, which I know we have around here somewhere. There they are. Okay. And then after we're done with this, we might end for, t for tonight. But, you know, more progress has been made. Hopefully things have been sped up. Once I'm done with this, I'll actually see if... We have had an increase in production of red circuits. I feel like we haven't right now because, well, we kind of screwed it over with what we most recently did. That's going to go up like that and probably actually connect it. And it's mad. Okay, and we're going to call this, well, the first one's called Mineral Pick 2, this one's going to be Mineral Drop 2. And likewise, the train wants to go into here. And the weight condition is going to be empty cargo. Probably should have also powered that, but we can do that in just a moment. I'll hopefully make my solder again. It does look like it's going to make stuff. And meanwhile, while I was doing all of that, it looks like it fixed itself anyway. <sighs> I don't even know why I bother every time. Uh, although it doesn't really look like it fixed itself. Running off on solder. Because we've got lots of solder, maybe it's just too far away? Or maybe it's been consumed by something else? Or maybe it's not even connected to anything. So far it looks okay. Oh my god. Not connected, that's the problem. It's getting solder from a line that is very, very empty of solder. That's why it's all going to hell. Ah well. So it's like solder 100%, solder 100%, solder 0%, not connected. Maybe if we connect it. My gosh, we have solder again. What a gosh darn surprise. Are we making solder? My goodness, we're making solder again. We're all very surprised about this. <laughs> but we shouldn't be.
Uh, Alright, that's fine. At least it's being made. That's the main thing. Meanwhile, are we actually making more solder? Like, is it still coming through? Yeah, it's coming through. It's doing its thing. Cool. Look, that's the main thing. And let's check progress of advanced circuits. I know this is not going to be great, but let's check it. It's not adventured circuits. That's that's a different thing. So it's still spiky as heck. Uh, I mean, it's gone up to 117 per... Uh, Oh, we're up to 142. So maybe if these speed up a bit, which is all being held back by the solder, it would seem. So maybe if we just, this is me trying to end. I'm just so bad at it because I keep wanting to play more. So maybe if we just speed up the solder production just a little bit. Just a little bit. Nothing major. Uh, did I put that around the wrong way? That's right. And then maybe that'll make enough solder. Maybe. It just occurred to me, we didn't actually finish aluminium, did we? Because we never actually got anything connected to anything. Uh, well, aluminium's going aluminium's to be a problem next. That's cool. That's good to know. Meanwhile, science is going incredibly slowly because we have a lack of probably yellow? We have a lack of yellow. Why do we have a lack of yellow? We have two yellow coming through after sitting there for three, uh, for five minutes. Cool. I remember right, that needs red circuits. It needs blue circuits. Those need red circuits. So whatever happens, we just need more red circuits. We need crazy amounts of red circuits. But green circuit production is higher. And hopefully that means that... Good times are just coming. The only thing I can hope for is just more good times. What is your problem? You don't get enough of these boys. Why are you not getting enough of those boys? The boys are slow. The boys are not in the yard, they're just slow boys. You never want slow boys. Let's just use up all of these and then... Uh, I don't know what I just picked up. Oh cool, a bunch of those, huh? Well, everything looks like it's sort of going right at a decent pace right now. As fast as it could be hoped for, I suppose. More beacons? Could do more beacons. That would be insane. What would we need to increase my speed beacons? Nothing to go to zero to oh zero to one, and to go to one uh, zero to one here we would need advanced circuits and processing units. Yeah, okay, that's literally the problem we have right now. It's not enough of those. So maybe that's something we need to think about. Anyway, we're actually done for now. Thank you for watching, everyone. Uh, if you've enjoyed today and you haven't already, please give a follow. That way you can see the next time I will be uh, doing another session. 
Uh, the next session for me is planned on Saturday, but you can see the schedule down below. It's usually pretty accurate. It might be off by half an hour before or after, but usually that's where I'm sitting. Uh, otherwise, you can find me on YouTube.com uh, at YouTube.com slash C4Cat. If you're watching on YouTube, well, I mean, hey, you find me on Twitch.tv slash C4Cat. If you haven't figured out how to spell C4Cat, the good news is just look at how the username spelled here and you can figure it out on the other side. I know you can. I believe in you. You're smart. Anyway. Um, also, if you'd like... Uh, well, this is all Factorio, but on Sundays I do my variety stream, which at the moment I am running uh, Dark Souls. Uh, we're doing a randomizer run, which means all the monsters and all the items are randomized. Uh, that also means every time I leave the spawn at Undead Hollow or Undeadburg, uh, Gwyn just comes along and just stabs me in the face. So, so happy to see Gwyn there. Uh, but otherwise, you know, have a great day. Whatever time of the day it is, just enjoy where you're at. And I'll hopefully see you another time. Take care, everyone.